Hello students, today we'll discuss IB Mathematics HL Paper 1 May 2019 Time Zone 1. No calculator in this paper. My name is Nariman Malim and here you can see my mobile and email. Uh, you should have with you the following thoughts. Mathematic HL and further Mathematic Formula Booklet for use in the during the course and in the examination, first examination 2014. And uh, of course you need only formulas for Mathematic HL and don't need for further Mathematic HL formulas. This is the cover page. And in the cover page we see that you are not permitted access to any calculator for this paper. Section A. Uh, answer all questions. Answers must be written within the answer boxes provided. Working may be continued below the lines if necessary. Let A be this vector, B is with this vector, K is real. Get uh, given that A and B are perpendicular, find the possible values of K. From booklet, we have formula for cosine theta between these vectors. And uh, because cosine of their perpendicular, so cosine of 90 is 0, so their scalar product, which is above, is 0. And formula for scalar product is written here, also from booklet. Uh, substituting uh, the components of the vector, x, y, and z components of the vector, we get equation, quadratic equation. The straightforward uh, way is to use formula from prior learning, which is also in the booklet, and we get 2 and minus 3. Done. Question 2. Determine the first three terms of uh, this uh, exponent in ascending powers of x, given each term is in its simplest form. So, section 1.3 of the booklet, binomial theorem. So, here we have first term, second term, and so on. In the terms, we have combination symbol and combination are written this way, starting from 0, R0, and this is R0, and this is R1, and so on. So A is 1, B is minus 2x, attention, plus, and here minus 2x, and N is 11. So the first term, according to these two formulas, will be 1. Second term, so combination uh, coefficient will be given by this expression. Uh, uh, 1 to the 10th is 1, and minus and 2. So out of this we get 11 times 10 factorial, 10 factorial, 10 factorial simplifies, we get minus 22. Third term is given by this formula. Here we get 9 factorial simplifies with 9 factorial, 10 and 11. 10 and 11 is here, 2 here. Minus 2x squared give us 4x squared. 2 simplify by 2, you get 200, 220 x squared. So three terms we found, done. Uh, question 3. A vector, a sector of circle with radius r centimeters where r more than 0 is shown on the following diagram. The sector has an angle of 1 radian as a center. Let area of the sector be A and perimeter be P. Given that A equals P, find the value of r. So sections 3 are length of the arc. So this arc is given by theta r, theta is 1, so it is r. Area is half, again section 3, 1. Area is half t r squared, t is 1, so we have one half r squared. 
uh, perimeter will be r plus r plus r because uh, we need total lengths. So perimeter is 3r. So half r so uh, area equals perimeter half r squared equals 3r and from which we get the deducents r is 6 centimeters done. Question 4. The lengths of two sides in triangles are 4 cm and 5 cm. Let theta be the angle between the two given sides. The triangle has an area of so much cm squared. Show the sine theta equals so much. Uh, A. Solution. S section 3, 7 give us area of a triangle in the form half AB sine C. So, sine C will be 2A by A times B, and area, we substitute area, two and two simplify, we get square root of 15 over four, so sh shown, done. Uh, find the two possible values of, for the length of the third side. So we use cosine rule from 3 to Pythagorean identities. Cosine square plus sine square give us 1. It means that cosine will be square root of 1 minus sine square 2. Cosine equals, and we substitute the value of sine. And here we understand that when we square, we get two roots, plus and minus. So we get plus minus one over four. So two versions, plus and minus over four, goes instead of cosine into this formula. So we substitute all values. And we have to make square root. So with plus and with minus. So separately with plus and minus and plus. So we get two values. This question is done. Question 5. A camera points at, at point C is 3 meters from the edge of a straight section of road as shown in the following diagrams. A, a camera detects a car traveling along the road at time t equals 0. It then rotates, always pointing at the car until the car passes O, the point at the edge of the road closest to the camera. A car travels along the road at speed 24 meters per second. Let the position of the car be x and let OCX be theta. Find d theta by t dt, the rate of rotation of the camera in radians per second at the instance the car passes the point O. So a right angle triangle, tangent will be x divided by 3, opposite side by adjacent. So we have equation. Let's differentiate both sides. So first of all, tangent differentiate. When we differentiate tangent, we get second squared x. But also uh, we should differentiate. We differentiate by x. So first we differentiate by theta and then we differentiate by x, by time, sorry. So differentiate by, uh, we use chain rule. And first we differentiate by theta and then theta by time. So left side. Right side, 1 over 3 dx over time. So dx over time is actually speed, it is 24, so here we get, on the right we get 8, on the left we uh, rewrite second into 1 over cosine squared theta, solve for d theta by d theta by d time, and we take a value uh, at when angle equals 0, so when cosine equals 1, so this is 8 radians per second, done. Question 6. Uh, let x be a random variable which follows a normal distribution with mean mu. Given that 
probability that when x is less than mu minus 5 equals 0 0.2 find probability that x more than mu plus 1 5 uh, so because uh, the, the graph is symmetrical probability of x more than mu plus 5 is equal to probability than x is less than so it is the same 0 0.2 find uh, conditional probability that uh, x less than mu plus 5 uh, provided that x is more than mu minus 5 so conditional probability we divide probability of intersection by probability of the condition probability of the condition x x is more than mu minus 5 so it is this section and this section is 0 0.8 because total is 1 right so 0 0.8 Uh, probability that we have intersection of two conditions which means that x is actually between mu minus 5 and mu plus 5 and probability of this intersection equals 0 0.6 because 0 0.2 0 0.2 total is 1 so this is 0 0.6 So 0 0.6 by 0 0.8 give us 3 over 4 done. Question 7. Find the coordinates of the points on the curve at which uh, dy by dx equals 0. First derivative equals. Let's differentiate substituting dy by, the, uh, by dx equals 0. First, for first term use chain rule. So when we differentiate first term, we're using chain rule. So first we find differential of y and then dy by dx, which is zero. So first term will be zero. For second term, we use uh, product rule. And uh, so product rule give us three y so when we differentiate by x, 3y squared plus, then we differentiate by y and dy by dx. So this is 0 because this is why second term becomes simplified 3y squared. So finally, this differentiate will be, so also we differentiate minus x cubed, it becomes minus 3x squared. So we get y squared equals x squared, which means that y equals either x or y equals minus x. So we substitute y equals x into the formula, this formula, and we get x cubed equals 9, which means that cubic root of 9 equals x. y will be y will be sorry here mistake y will be also positive when y equals minus x x equals 3 and y equals minus 3 so here we have one mistake okay so answer is this 3 minus 3 and right done A question 8 the graph y equals first derivative of f between 0 and 5 is shown in the following diagram. The uh, curve intercepts at uh, 1, 0, 1, 0, and 4, 0, 1, 0, sorry, 1, 0, and 4, 0, and has a local minimum at 3 minus 1. So here, local minimum. This is for f prime, f first derivative. Write down the x coordinate of the point of reflection of y equals fx. So it is for a function y equals fx. Uh, and second derivative will have 0 
at point 3 minus 1. This is why here we have point of inflection. Second derivative will be at this point, x equals 3. B, find the value f1 given that f0 equals 3 and the area and the shaded area equals 0 0.5 so shaded area so we should find integral of this function from 0 to 1 and integral will of f prime is f so f1 minus f0 equals 0 0.5 f0 we know it is 3 so we get 3.5 b find the value of f1 we found now this is B sorry this is B this is C so this is C right so this is B and this is C so this is okay that's strange B and C doesn't work okay Right, so uh, B we found, now C. Uh, find the value of F4. Uh, the area in close between 1 and 4 is 2.5. 1 and 4, so area here will be 2.5. It means that integral will be minus 2.5. That's attention here. So integral will be F4 minus F1 minus 2.5. We put uh, so value of f1 is 3. Point, so we get 1.0. D sketch the curve from 0 to 5. So actually, we know three points, and we know that here we have positive. Sec, uh, first derivative so it is increasing and as a result we can draw such a curve so we have one point another point and another point so here local maximum and by the way here we have also point of inflection at point three so somehow let's just show it somehow point of inflection Let's not forget that here we have point of inflection. So we will show it somehow. So here point of inflection. How we will show it? Let's, let's show it with triangle. And point of inflection and point C. So all information that we have, we uh, demonstrated on this graph. Finished. Section B. For section B, we need to split screen. And we need to find question.